What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. It's that time again. It's time to break out another early pair of sneakers that are getting ready to come out in about a month or so from now to get you guys' opinions and first looks. Without further ado, let's take a look. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 2020 Air Jordan 1 High OG Black and Pine Green. All right, guys, listen. First take on these, they look incredible. I wanna start off by saying I don't really know what the release procedure is gonna be on these sneakers, but I'm gonna tell you like this, these are gonna sell out when they drop. The hype is real on these right now. But before we get too much into it, let's take a little deeper look at the shoe itself. All right guys, first things first here, starting off with the upper of the sneaker here, classic Air Jordan 1 high OG silhouette, nothing really different about that, but what is different about these is the materials. So first things first here, of course, you get the pine green pebbled leather, really, really nice leather going all around the car of the sneaker around the heel of the sneaker on the swoosh and on the toe box you can see it pronounced a little bit better on the toe box here how nice a quality that pebbled leather is nothing really different there we've seen that many times before but what is different about this sneaker here is the quality of this black leather i don't know exactly what kind of leather this is but it's really, really nice. Very, very premium, extremely soft. And again, it's the same leather going around the toe box, down the mud guards of the shoes here, around the back side of the sneaker here at the top, all around the quarter panels. I mean, down the eyelids, you get this leather all over the sneaker and it is so plush, very, very premium, very, very soft. Like I'm trying to zoom in so that you guys can honestly see just how nice and plush and soft this leather is. It is some really, really, really good leather. Now that leather is also complemented on the Wings logo here, which is a stitched Wings logo here. You see, it's a three-dimensional Wings logo. You could actually take it off if you wanted to hard enough, but it's a really nice plush leather Wings logo as well that's embossed with the Air Jordan Wings logo across the top of it. Did I mention that the leather on these was nice? Now the tongue of the shoe here, you get a classic Air Jordan 1 tongue. On the tag here though, you're gonna get the Nike Air emblem in red against this really nice pebbled leather tongue. Now the interesting part on this one is that on the back of this tongue, there's actually nothing there. Of course, normally on these high OGs, we're used to seeing all the writing on the back of the sneaker here and the copywriting and things like that, but that's not here on this one. Of course, you're gonna get a really nice pure white midsole on this sneaker, and then you're gonna get a really nice pine green outsole on this sneaker. You guys always ask me for the production dates on the early sneakers, so here we go. August 21st, 2019 to October 14th, 2019. That's what I got here. Last but not least, on the insole of the sneaker here, a black background on the insole here with that same red Nike Air OG emblem on the heel. And to be honest with you, that's pretty much it about these sneakers. It's a really simple colorway, really nice execution, incredible materials on this one. And I love the little tiny hit of red that's on the tongue and on the insole. Now, of course, we saw the Pine Green Jordan 1's debut last year, which they had a little bit of black in here, but mainly had that sail colored quarter panel where this one is replaced now only in material, but also with color, where you see a more pronounced black all over the sneaker. Now, I like what Jordan brand is doing. They're switching it up and adding the black with the little pops of color on the Jordan ones that are coming out. They're doing this on the men's pair, and they're also doing it on the upcoming women's pair as a part of their new collection that's coming out as well. I'm sure you guys have seen photos at this point of the women's Air Jordan 1 that's getting ready to come out. It's got the red and the blue, pretty much the same color blocking as these, but it also has that really pronounced black all around the sneaker as well. I'm really, really excited to see what those look like as well. But like I said, as for these here, super, super clean, super, super simple. And I really think that you guys are gonna be blown away by the materials on this shoe. I honestly can't talk enough about how good the leather is on these. It's some of the best leather that I have seen on a Jordan 1 in a very, very long time. Right now, I believe they are rumored to release somewhere in late February, somewhere around February 28th, 29th, something like that of 2020. So about a month to about a month and a half from now, hopefully you guys can get your hands on a pair when they drop. Let me know down in the comments below if you plan on picking yourself up a pair of these or if you're gonna pass on them. Why or why not? Let me know. Also, if it's not these, let me know what Jordan releases you guys are looking forward to coming out in 2020. Is there anything you have your eye on? I know a lot of you guys are looking at All-Star Weekend. You're looking at the New Beginnings pack. You're looking at the Off-White Air Jordan 5s. And there's a lot of other releases that are getting ready to come out. So what are you guys looking forward to outside of these that's getting ready to drop this year that we know about so far? I know January was a rough month for a lot of us because not that much stuff came out. So hopefully Jordan Brand will make up for that 
in the month of February. Now, of course, I'll be doing some on-foot looks of this. If you guys would like to see an on-foot video of this sneaker here, click a like on this video. And maybe we can make that happen. However, I also plan on doing some on-foot looks on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that at Lyrical Fetish. The name is right down there. Of course, write it down in the comments, calling these fake. Make sure that you click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the Sneaker Fetish family so that you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here on Sneaker Fetish, taking a look at these with me for a few minutes. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Air Jordan 1 Black and Pine Green for 2020. And until next time, I'm out.